on the fourth chapter of the live-action Star Wars series The Mandalorian, entitled Sanctuary. The series gives fans another reason to love the popular series when it introduced a character named Omera. Here's why Julia Jones, the actress who plays her, looks so familiar. Though it's one of the actress's lesser-known projects, the Larry Bishop-directed, western-tinged biker opus Hellride is a bold entry in Julia Jones's filmography. Released in 2008 and produced by none other than Quentin Tarantino, Hellride follows Bishop and Michael Madsen as heads of the Victor's bike gang, and finds them entrenched in a bloody showdown with David Carradine's own 666's gang. Envisioned as the greatest biker movie ever made by Tarantino and Bishop, Hellride doesn't quite live up to those lofty ambitions, but it's every bit as violent, macho, and subversively silly as its setup would have you to believe. Hellride's B-movie absurdities make for a little slice of grindhouse heaven for cinema lovers. If you're among them, you're certain to recognize Jones for her turn as Cherokee Kism, the doomed paramour of Bishop's Pistolero. While Jones doesn't play a major role in the film, her character gets offed early in Hellride's gritty action, she makes the most of the moment in what was just her third feature film, ensuring that Cherokee Kism's spirit casts a long shadow of the film's narrative. Hellride may not have boosted Julia Jones's profile to household name status during the early days of her career, but it did give her enough notice to land a role in a tentpole franchise featuring a certain sparkly-skinned vampire. 2010's The Twilight Saga Eclipse qualified as Jones's first big mainstream break, with fans around the world taking a liking to her character, Leah Clearwater. If you're here to torture Jacob some more, feel free to leave. Fun, isn't she? As a refresher, Eclipse was the first Twilight film to really spend some time with the vampire-hating, shape-shifting wolf folk that Bella's bestie-slash-would-be beau Jacob ran around with through much of the series. Among those werewolves are Leah and Seth Clearwater. Jones's Leah is extremely powerful and was the only woman among the wolf people to ever take the form of the animal. As such, she was immediately named the second-in-command to Jacob's Alpha within the pack. Though there were a lot of overarching narratives and tons of intricate lore going on in the film, all you really need to know about Eclipse is that Julia Jones was in it and that she was really good in what amounted to a relatively thankless role that she continued to play over the course of the final two, increasingly ridiculous Twilight flicks, Breaking Dawn, Parts 1 and 2. Luckily, the rather complicated reputation of the Twilight movies didn't prevent Jones from moving on to better, if not bigger, things. In fact, one of Jones's most memorable supporting turns came in the decidedly mid-budget 2017 thriller Wind River. Written and directed by Taylor Sheridan, Wind River unfolds in the icy vistas of Montana and sees a troubled tracker named Corey Lambert, played by Jeremy Renner, attempting to navigate local and tribal laws while entangling a web of mystery surrounding the death of his friend's daughter on a local reservation. We come to find out that the case is of particular interest to Corey because his own daughter had been killed in a troubling case years earlier. In hopes of providing some answers for his old friend, Corey tackles the case head-on and stirs up some still-raging emotions within himself along the way. Those emotions are never closer to the surface as they are when Corey visits Wilma, the mother of his deceased child, and his ex-wife, who is memorably played with raw nerve energy by, you guessed it, Julia Jones. You got blood on your shirt. But yeah, I just came from work. Who was the victim today? Though her turn as Wilma in Wind River was short, Joan still brought some serious fire to the mix. She rendered a fully formed character from the abstract fragments of Wilma, and the character is every bit as wounded and haunted by the past as Corey. As far as supporting turns go, Jones's work in Wind River isn't quite of the legit scene-stealing nature, but it's about as close as one can get. The Mandalorian is hardly Julia Jones's first foray into television. She got her first taste of the small screen big time with a four-episode arc as Dr. Kaya Montoya on the final season of ER back in 2008. Jones also delivered solid work as Gabriella Langton on A&E's Western series Longmire, and can currently be seen as Stephanie Littlecrow on the Billy Bob Thornton starring legal drama Goliath. Perhaps Jones's most memorable TV appearance was as Kohana on the second season of HBO's daring, perplexing sci-fi western Westworld. As complex and frustrating as Westworld season two often was, when the series took a moment to slow down, it offered wildly inventive, vividly rendered, jaw-droppingly beautiful glimpses into some of the more intriguing corners of Westworld at large. 
One such corner belonged to the doomed park's indigenous people, the Ghost Nation. And one of those astounding moments came on the eighth episode of Westworld Season 2. Entitled Kiksuya, the episode proved a bold narrative diversion from the relative chaos of the season and followed Zan McLarnan's Akichida as he narrates the Ghost Nation's rise to consciousness. He does so through the telling of his own dramatic story, a harrowing one of a love lost and then tragically found. That story finds Akichida falling passionately in love with fellow Ghost Nationer Kohana, only to have her ripped away from him after both characters are reprogrammed by the park's storytellers. As the story progresses with Akichida and Kohana's lives crossing in increasingly devastating fashion, it does so with almost no dialogue from Kohana, a fact that makes Jones's silently emotive work in the role all the more remarkable, and that adds unimaginable weight to her reading of the episode's signature line. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.